They can be written down and, and taken into evidence. Don't they said on that? I'm sure somebody will. <laughs> <laughs> dun 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 dun. We should see if we haven't seen that show lately. I wonder if there's new ones. What show? Murder in Paradise. I'm sure we're live no, already as we're talking, but oh hey, we are. <laughs> Oops. It was over. Yay. Hello everyone. Oh, Fran is on. Fran, it looks like it's just you and us today. Well, that's good. <laughs> Let's just sit here and chat, shall we? Oh. oh, now we've got April, Amy, EMC, Nancy, Sagittarian, Hello. 1955. Hello, everyone. John, Lynn, all right. Okay, today we are making zucchini cake. Yay. Woohoo. But if you want to make zucchini bread, you can use the same recipe, just throw it in a different shaped pan. What? <laughs> That's the only difference, really. I think last year we made two shows. <laughs> Did we? Yes. People can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, while everybody's getting on here, I'm going to start shredding my zucchini. So, you just want to take your zucchini. Was that zucchini expensive? This zucchini was free, what? thanks to my honey, who knows to always bring free things home. Oh well, yeah, wasn't that from the guys meeting that we were doing? Yes, saying? it was from Don. Yeah, it's from Don. I did not have a garden this year, it so I have like five tomato plants kids got me for Mother's Day, but other than that. Dude, the guy was just like, here's the zucchini. Well, that was Pat, actually, yeah. <laughs> it was Don last time. So... <laughs> Um, Mike got this free from his old guy friends that he goes has coffee with every Friday. It's pretty sad when you're the wrongest one there. <laughs> hmm. Actually, there was one of the sons was slightly younger than me, but he's up in Washington now for a while. Oh, okay. So you want two cups of grated zucchini. Grated. Oh, let me Ugh. share the link for that. So, let's see. The zucchini cake recipe is on this post I'm about to share. So, this article, Zillions of Zucchinis, that Mike's sharing, was, a I think, of these zucchinis? the first article we put on NotJustBeans.com. Really? Yeah. I think it was. That's a really odd name. Because NotJustBeans.com came about yesterday, 19 years ago, our first website. And we, we brainwashed our nephew to say, NotJustBeans.com everywhere he went. I was always like, NotJustBeans.com. He's like, NotJustBeans.com. <laughs> oh, Susie says, first time live from Arizona. Wait, well, hello, Susie. Wait yep. is it your first time live from Arizona or your first time live? Because your name looks very familiar to me. <laughs> um... Okay, so you guys saw the size of the zucchini that I started with, pretty big. Now this is just right at two cups, but I'm going to add just a little bit more. Here I was getting all excited to have a garden next year, and I forgot we're going to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I won't have one next year either. Wait, we are? That's definite, 100%? Well, we're about 85% there. Right now we're having problems with transportation. we got to figure out what we're going to do for transportation. Not too sure about how we're going to handle that for three months. Because we don't want to send a car over there. And we don't want to buy a car while we're over there. So, I don't know what we're going to do for transportation. Okay. I was going to ask the lady that runs the place. I just didn't yet. So, here's a little tip. Just, when you have stuff like your... Uh, what do you call it? Your grater and all that? Just rinse it off right away. You don't need to wash it. You don't need to sterilize it. Just rinse it off and put it back up. It's just um, food. I mean. It just makes it so much easier. Okay, now this recipe is on page 240 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, mm -hmm. yeah. which yeah. has free shipping right now. Dining on a Dime Cookbook. I'm sharing Page the link right now. 240, oh, like right you, there. You can, like, 240. Free shipping right now. Now, this is pretty much a dump recipe. You just dump all the ingredients in here. Now, I have 
gluten-free flour, but you can use regular flour, of course. And then I put in my zucchini. That's two cups. Slightly over two cups, but yeah. So Sue says, picking monster-sized zucchinis from the garden this year, going to try this recipe next week. Yes, it's delicious. Zucchini is one of those things that is so prolific. <laughs> yeah. You can use it for so many recipes too. Yeah, right? and what you can do is you can grate it and freeze it in two cup portions, and then you can just make zucchini bread or zucchini cake all year. Okay, so that's my sugar, and now I have all my spices right there. And then I have my oil and my water right there. So I have a question. Mary says I leave my green skin on. And I was wondering, can you leave the skin on for the yeah, bread? Yeah, a lot of people this? do. Oh, okay. And my vanilla. I'm sharing the recipe again in the comments. Oops, I forgot to turn on my oven. I'm going to turn on my oven here. Um, my salt, because the world needs uh, more salt, people! <laughs> my baking soda. EMC is wondering which brand of gluten-free flour are you using? Pamela's. Which is our favorite, right? Yes. Oops. Got a piece of zucchini in there. Okay. Baking soda, salt, vanilla, and then my eggs. Okay. One, two, and Tur then three. Okay. Turtle. Teresa just ordered the cookbook. Yay, thank oh, you. Thanks, Teresa. Oh, thank you. you know you're going to love you. it. All right, here we go. So we're going to mix all this up. So then you're going to take your pan. Now normally I do this over the sink so you don't accidentally spray <laughs> the floor and slip and fall all over the place. So Ellen says, tis the season to lock your car unless you find it stuffed full of zucchini. <laughs> we used to joke about that in Idaho. Or we had a cousin out there who would tell us that they would like ring people's doorbells and leave zucchini on the front porch. I don't know what it is with zucchini. People just cannot bring themselves to waste it, but people plant so much of it. You really only need like one zucchini plant for a family, really. For one bread. Um, okay, now what I love about this is this is gluten-free and dairy-free. Ooh. And I happen to be that both at the moment. So I'm going to be happy, happy, happy to get some thing yummy. By the way, if the old guys give you more zucchini, do not turn it away. I never turn away anything they give me for free. Mm. Oh, yum! Mm, 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 that's good. So Danny wants to know, can you add nuts to it? Yes. Any particular kind that would be better? Mm. Pecans? I would say I would add pecans or walnuts if it was me. Oh, that is so good. And you know what? I'm not going to frost this because... Um, oh, and Gypsy Woman Homestead says nuts and raisins. Yeah. Oh, that would be delicious. Mm -hmm. I love raisins. I should have done some. that. 
Okay, oh, well. I'm just going to dump them in there. I don't have any frosting, so what I'm going to do is take some cinnamon and sugar, because frosting has milk in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cinnamon and sugar, and I'm going to sprinkle it just on top here. Ooh, that smells good. And then that'll be like a kind of a frosting type thing. Um, Dude. There we go. Yamarumo. Yay. And that is it, guys. I know that this is always so fast, but the recipes. Oh, yeah. There's the cinnamon on top. And dining on a dime are just that quick and easy. I don't like spending a bunch of time in the kitchen cooking. No one and does. so I always make sure these recipes are super quick and easy. Okay, so now you're gonna put it in the oven at 350 and you're gonna turn your timer on so that you don't end up like Tara and forget it, okay? Uh, <laughs> but let me get this out of the way and then we will make some soap because the world needs more soap, people. Don't you agree, dear? Uh -oh. Hey, Lois. Um, I'm going to put this in the text also, but if the screen blacked out and you still hear us, you can refresh, the, and it should fix that. Okay. Uh, should we, before you do the soap, can we look through and see if there are any questions related to this? You know, I hope that wasn't the bed person. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sagittarian says... Hello? <laughs> oh, Donald Trump Jr. is calling me. That's so nice. And I just hung up on him. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Are you serious? Phone. Oops. Yeah, we pulled the plug on the phone. That's my job. I failed the last. Oh, Patricia says today I'm watching as I wait for the bus. That's hilarious. Actually, yeah, Heather says Dave forgot to unplug the phone. Well, sadly, it's usually my job, but... It's <laughs> you Dad's failed. job to unplug the phone. Uh, let's I see. just make sure the show is still mm. up. Ooh, <laughs> eating C's candy my daughter brought me, Lisa says. Yum. Oh, yum. Okay, so guys, oh, that's how quick and easy it is. Now, if you want to make chocolate zucchini bread, instead of putting in two cups of flour, put in one and a half cups of flour and a half a cup of cocoa. Just the baking cocoa, not hot chocolate cocoa. If you want to make it into zucchini bread instead of zucchini um, cake, um, Annika, hello! Annika's sending me beauty treatments from Israel. Ooh. Do you think it'll make me look like a queen? I don't know if you need beauty treatments, but, oh. but if they're, saying they're coming from Israel, we'll sure have to try them. <laughs> Margaret, you, you were good with that. Margaret Bedwell says, this looks delicious. I'll have to pick up some zucchini tomorrow. And I like the idea of just sprinkling the cinnamon and sugar on top. It's really, really it good. Is. Yes. So, um, we had a few. Linda wants to know, why are you gluten and milk free? Uh, I have fibromyalgia and it helps ease the pain symptoms for me. And Jamie says, well, happy anniversary, not just beans. Thank you, Jamie. So wait, how many years was that then? 19. Wow. I couldn't wait to start another business for 20 years. I just had to go ahead and start. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I have to say thank you to Kim in Port Collins. Wait, she she sent me she's this. She's going to you that? She sent me taffy for my birthday. That's and I ate on. most of it myself. I uh, shared us, a little bit, but just a little bit. Us kids came and there was, or us kids, the kids and I came and there was a box and like three little pieces and a note that said share if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, or you don't have to share if you don't want to. I can't remember. I didn't. <laughs> and Kim, or Kim, Donna sent me this beautiful card for my birthday. Thank you, Donna, who happens to be in Ireland right now and Ooh. going to be my new soap assistant. <gasps> Yay! She's going to be on there and she sent me a nice Hobby Lobby gift card. Oh, that's very sweet. So I can go buy more notes. Yay! Ah! Well, I hope you're having fun wherever you are over there I right know. now. We're jealous because she said she's going to be jealous of us next year. Is she? Yes. That's because that's that's she's over there and she knows what Maybe she's... they'll come visit us while we're over there. Ooh, that would be cool. Okay, and this is from... La Diana. La Diana. Oh, I forgot. In Big Rapids. She told us before how to pronounce it and I'm not sure I said it right. Oh, 
thank you. She says our show is a blessing to her. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. A nice little birthday card. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. Let's see. Was that all of the, yes, I think that was all of the things to open for this show. So I'm going to start making some soap here while Mike's doing questions. So Amanda said zucchini noodles on sketty night. Can you make those yourself? Yes, you can. And um, Bethany Joy says you can dehydrate some strips of zucchini to make lasagna noodles and not have the lasagna be so juicy. I did not know that. Did you? I did not know that. Ooh, Janet's loving the honey baked chicken. I think that's our most popular Ooh, That's recipe. our number Ooh. one recipe Ooh. that we have. Jamie, yeah. love you more soaps and journals, says, <gasps> I have a gift for you too. Maybe I can drop it off tomorrow. <gasps> oh, thank you. Can you give me some ice? Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Christy says Mike is well that, trained. Though, huh? Lynn says Mike knows all the right things to say. And Christy says Mike is well trained. <gasps> Lush Papaya says hello from Denmark. Hello. Aww. Do I have you well trained? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> have you been missing me at night? I have. Are you lonely? Yep. I reached over and there's no hand to hold. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Oh, EMC says you can make a citrus glaze with orange or lemon and powdered sugar. Oh, that would be good. Yum. Oh, and Downey's... Oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe I'll have to do that next time. And Downey's Wave says I added a banana. <gasps> That's Yum. great. Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa, water everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm cooling off my lye water because even though I, um, even though I started this an hour and a half ago, it's still not quite cool enough yet. Um... I'm going to put this in to cool it down just a little bit more. There we go. While oh. I get my stuff ready here. Today I am making peach. Hold on, let me do a better intro. Here we go. Today I'm making peach cold processed soap. Wow. Now, it's a little late in the season to be doing this, but I really, really, really wanted to make this soap because... I love, peach is probably my favorite fruit. Peach and blueberries are my top two favorite fruits. And I love it. It smells divine. Take a sniff on that one. Ooh, yum. <sighs> oh, uh, Ooh, that smells good. Somebody was asking if you put cocoa in, how much? A half a cup of cocoa, but you take out a half a cup of flour. So... If you don't, it'll be too, too yeah, too clumpy. I'm going to share the recipe again in the comments uh, here. And as usual, okay. if you don't find the recipe here in the comments, you can go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. And Michael put the recipe for my soap in there. Did you put the soap recipe in there? I didn't. Which one is this? This is the olive oil. Uh, let, me go to, let me go to the show notes because I always leave that one there since, <laughs> since you make it so often. All right, the olive oil soap recipe. Oops. Uh. Okay, so my oils are heated up. Man, that smells to the proper delicious. Proper temperature. Doesn't that smell good? I feel like I'm in Fredericksburg, Texas, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Colorado's peaches are coming out right now. Ooh, did I just I need insult to go the get Colorado some more. peach community? Do I need I think to go down? You did. By singing the praises of Texas peaches. Here, I'll go down. <laughs> well, hold on just a second, Dave. Not yet, because it's oh. gotta cool for just a minute more. Ooh, um, Angie loves the apron. Which one is it? Thank you. This one's the onions. Ooh. I think, oh, that's I think it was Pat that sent me these. Or do you like garlic? Which one? Onions or garlic? I thought it was onions. Me? Yeah. I like onions, but I like garlic better. Okay. Like well, but we I like need them to add both. a garlic apron, everybody, so. Peach soap, yes. Oh, hey, um, somebody earlier had asked if you can make zucchini soap. Yeah, you can actually, but okay. So here are the colors that I was testing today. Can you guys see them? This is the last of the colors that I'm testing before I open up my store. <gasps> what? I'm so excited. Aren't those pretty? Dave took all the pictures for all everything on the store. Yes, Dave has been taking pictures. Almost everything on the store is Dave's pictures. 
Dave has been a picture taken fool. <laughs> fool. He's probably taken what? 350 pictures for our And like store. half of them are unneeded because they're all duplicates. So. <laughs> Kat says, happy birthday, Tara. I get to celebrate my 40th on Wednesday. Oh, wow. Tell us on Wednesday and we will okay. break out our candle. So I'm going to let this cool down just a bit more. It's almost there. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. So our mattress. You guys want to hear about our mattress. So Wait, wait. Before you talk about the mattress. Or not. Was it, was, what did you do for the birthday yesterday? What did I do for the birthday yesterday? For what? My birthday? Yeah. Was it fun? We went to the mountains. Yeah. Yay. Until I poisoned myself with smoke poisoning. What? <laughs> Actually, we went and it was really fun, but there was a forest fire, and then we had a campfire, and... The forest fire isn't near us, it's just that the smoke completely fills up the whole area where kinda we are. It kind of made me sick. The smoke made me sick, so... But it was really good. I had a great birthday. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, here we go. So, I'm going to pour my lye into oh. my... Mardella says Oils. Patty Alderman makes apple pie from zucchini. Really? Yep. Wow, I didn't oh, know that. Ruth says, please explain what to do if you want bread instead of cake. Tara interrupted herself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Which I don't think I oh, okay. Um, you just get a loaf pan and just put it in two loaf pans. So, you know, a loaf pan like this. You just put it in two of those instead. And then you're good to go. So, okay, so here we go. Heather says we should find a peach orchard to buy. <laughs> well, let me tell you, everything's for sale over in Grand Junction, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but. Okay, now I'm doing full water today instead of a water discount. And I'm not sure if I'm going to regret that or not. It just depends on how much, um, how quick your piping sets up. So it may take a bit for my piping to set up. Um, um, yeah? Danny McDonald says happy birthday, Tara. Thank you, Danny. All right, so that's emulsification where it changes to um, the different color. trace. See how the little dots are left there? That is called trace. Uh, I can't, not really. It's hard to see. Well, it's just too far. Can you see that? Not really? Okay. I mean, the camera needs to get like five times closer. So. Okay. So then I can't even see it. we're going to get our colors here. And I am not going to use any white in this no, I am going to use white, and I forgot to go get my white. I forgot. I'm using a white top. Oops. Let's see. Dave, can you go get me my white for me? Dave. Okay. So what I'm going to do is Put I'm using, bedroom. huh? In my bedroom. Yes. In the shaky bottle. Diana says, yes, Palisade Peaches. There see, you I go. I have some see? Colorado people on. <laughs> so I'm using Orange Burst, Golden Fields, and tropical green from my new. Are you ready for the announcement? What? Yes, yes. You're new. Homemade soap su making supplies.com. What? Okay, that's a really long name, but we did it for a reason to get good SEO value. So, this is Orange Burst, Golden Fields, and Tropical Green. If you guys are watching this later and my store is open, those are the colors that I'm using in this one. Okay, now I'm going to pour in. Is this where Mike grabs the computer and backs off? <laughs> okay, that's going to be my green. This is going to be my yellow. 
I think, maybe. It's gonna be my white. And this is gonna be my peach, I hope. Uh, wait, is the new store open? The new store is not open yet, but if you go there and sign up, as soon as I open it up, it will send you a notification. So, I'm really, really trying to get it done this week, wait, but... Wait, is it Com or... Tom. Wait, dot how many com. soap supplies? Then guess what I forgot to put what? in, guys? I can't My find fragrance. It. Homemade soap making supplies oh. com. Um... Jane asked what time we're on. She has, she's missed us. She has, hasn't been on the show in a while. We're on Mondays and Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. Yes. Oh, man, that smells so good. Ugh. Okay, so I think I'm going to make this my wife. Yeah, I don't, I don't know it, actually. You don't? Uh -uh. Oh, Heather says, ooh, that teal is beautiful and the ocean blue, too. Wow. Okay, I was going to introduce I don't know what teal, what color is teal? Is that a bluish green or something? Uh, teal, <laughs> yeah. Although it's actually more of a hunter green, but um, that's okay. I'll show you here in just a second. Oh, Jennifer in Colorado says, you guys have so much info on your website. It's so uh, great. Thanks, and she said Jennifer. she loves all the colors. Okay, so here it is right here. And we have a problem. My fragrance is falling off the handle. Uh oh. This is not a good situation. Oh dear. Okay. A moment here you can save to it. regroup. Don't worry, it's not the end yet. Okay. No, Let's get this go. bowl. Rhonda says, very excited to see your store, Tara. Yay! Way to go. I'm hoping I can. Get it done without Why? killing myself. Why is so making so complicated? Um. Um, so I'm going to be starting off making my new soap store a co-op where everyone orders first and then I order the stuff and ship it to you just to give me a little bit of help getting started so that it's a little bit easier on us. Since we are getting ready to print the books, we're going to have to sink most of the business money into that. So Terry asked, oh no, it's not HomemadeSoapSupplies.com, Jill. It's HomemadeSoapMakingSupplies.com. HomemadeSoapMakingSupplies.com. Yep. Um, okay, so there's the white. We should have... I didn't know you were going to announce it right. Sorry. Um... Okay, and here's my yellow. So you know how peaches always have a little bit of yellow in them. So we had a couple of people asking. Uh, yes, we already did the zucchini cake. It was a pretty easy recipe, and it only took about 15 minutes at the beginning. But yep. um, is it in the oven right now, right? It's in the oven. So are we going to show it off afterwards? We are going to show it off afterwards. And uh, Oops, wait, I keep sharing the recipe, but you can also go to livingonadime.com and click show notes to see it. And you can watch, if you're on YouTube, you can... Go back and watch it right now, even, if you'd rather see that instead of this part. We just, I just do soap making, guys, after the recipe, because we're an hour-long show, and we like to chit-chat with you guys. Okay, so back to our bed. So, Saturday, we returned our bed to oh, sorry. the place that we bought it from, because we absolutely hated it. Yes. Jane just asked, what is piping? Because you were talking about piping. Piping is piping the soap. It is like cake decorating except with soap. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness, people. Give me a thumbs up. Woo! That is beautiful. Um, so we took our bed back, but... We don't have the new bed yet. We decide to go ahead and order the one from the Hilton to try that and see if we'll sleep better. I don't know. I don't know that we've ever slept well since ever. So we, yeah, we slept well at a Hilton hotel. I think Amy T is the one that gave us this idea. 
because we said this other one wasn't working. She said, can you can you get one from the hotel? We were like, well, I don't know. So there's a website where you can order from. Well, there are websites where you can order from various hotel chains, the, the same beds that they put in the hotels. So we're going to try that and see how it goes. We're going to give it a go. Uh, Brenda asks, can you just double one of your recipes in the ebook for a bigger batch? Of... Uh, I'm a, so, I think she means a soap. Well, you generally can, but it's best if you run it through a calculator first. Um, but, yeah, it's better if you learn the calculator and run it through there. Uh, they um, want to know, can uh, they still donate to the missionary family? Yes, you can. Send me an email, and I can tell you where to donate for him. Um, Just an order inquiry? Yes, just an order inquiry or a general reader question on living on a dime and go to uh, our contact form and I can tell you where you can donate. There's also that post uh, that we did during the, our little fundraiser over the weekend is still on the front page at livingonadime.com. And in that post, we also point you to a fundraiser that uh, one of, that his employer is doing. Yes. So. Uh, if you if you have us send you their address, then you can send it directly to them with no fees. Uh, Facebook, I think, charges fees on their fundraiser. So yeah. So we're oh, that. this is looking so beautiful. Okay, here we go. So let's get these blended up. <laughs> She's in the middle of a recipe. She's making the banana bread. Mm -hmm. And she says, have you had to bake it longer in the oven? I'm up to one hour, but it's still not fully cooked. Yeah, sometimes you do. Actually, I thank you, Stormy. I was going to retest that recipe because I really think it should be closer to like an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes. So I think I'll retest that and see. Um, or actually, Stormy, if you could please email me your results. And then I can make sure that mine turn out the same too. Okay. So wait, is the Etsy store still open? The Etsy store is still for open for my soap, yes. And I am moving to my new homemade soapmakingsupplies.com, but I'm not there yet. So I just shared that link in the comments for homemade soapmakingsupplies.com, but it's also on our show notes at livingonadime.com. And I totally spaced putting this on Etsy so you guys could order it. So I'll try and get it on there this evening. Okay, so I'm going to pour Denise. in my peach. Denise says the colors are so pretty. Yeah, actually, that one right there is Isn't really that gorgeous. Pretty. Yeah. I've been wanting to make this soap forever. And Jesse says, I thought the garden soap was beautiful. Same colors. Thank you. All right. And Jane is asking, what brand is that blender? Um, this blender is, um, 
foot brand, Bueller. But I don't really like it for soap making, actually. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to have to go find me a different one. Do we have the one on our recommended yeah. items? And I had a Cuisinart and I loved it, but then they changed it to where you have to hold the top down. And I need to see if I can find one where you can't hold a button down on top. They did the f safety thing, but I don't like safety stuff because, you know, it's just... You like to fly wild. <laughs> Uh, so is the one on our Amazon store? Or? I think the one on our Amazon is the Cuisinart, and it's actually, I think, a better blender. It doesn't, the Mueller is great, and it's a super, super powerful blender, and it's great, except it blends too well, actually. Um, it is almost too powerful, I think. Now, that's just my two cents about it, but... Um, I just, I don't know, I think it's a little too powerful. Okay, so now I'm going to pour in my green. I'm trying to decide. Might leave a little bit of green for a top. Yeah, maybe. Okay, and now my yellow. Okay. <sighs> I feel like soap making is super lengthy. Get it all over here. Soap making is what? Why is it super lengthy? Why is it lengthy? Well, I don't know. Um, I'm going to reshare because I know a lot of people are looking for it. Um, the link to Tara's new soap store. It is homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. Homemade but, soap but making supplies. I'm sharing the link here so you don't miss it. And it's also in the show notes. If you go to livingonadime.com, click show yes. notes. For those people that are just joining us, uh, we made the zucchini cake at the beginning of the show, and it is currently in the oven. And now we're making soap to... Um, Here, hold on a second. Hold on. So... Okay, so I'm doing a little swirl here. Um, okay, so I'm doing a swirl here, and I'm thinking I wish I would have had a little bit more peach, but that's okay. We're going to adapt and overcome, because that's just the way I go. Okay, so, <laughs> take it you didn't see the no soliciting sign on Apparently the door? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, next... This is pretty set, pretty setting up pretty good already. So I'm gonna put, oh, but this isn't. Hmm. Do, you, do you have any idea how much longer the cake has? Um, so yeah. Uh, Pam wants to know it if we- It has 18 minutes. Already talked about how much was raised in that fundraiser. Are we gonna- Not yet. We will talk about that. We were talking about something though before the guy rudely interrupted oh, us. Oh, I was just we... saying, um, we made the, cake at the beginning of this show in the first 15 or 20 minutes and it is in the oven right now and we'll be taking it out in a little bit in the meantime we're making soap so yeah yes just for those of you who are joining um okay so i'm just going to put a white layer on top here and then hopefully this will set up by the time we're done with the show i don't know it's pretty thin I maybe should have done the piping a separate, a piping separate, uh, whatever you want to call it. So Diana says the best mattress I ever slept on was the heavenly bed at the Westin Hotel. I've been trying to recreate it ever since. I when I was looking for the hotel mattress websites, I think there was a Westin one. I'm pretty sure. Oh really? In fact, there was even one for the Ritz. Whoa. Although you don't want to know okay, how much those beds are. Um, here's my in beds that I'm gonna do right here. I forgot to count. Oh no. I don't think I have enough in beds. Oh shoot, Tara. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Oh yeah, I got enough. Okay, had a moment of panic there. A moment, brief, brief moment of panic. You know me, only a brief moment of panic, right, dear? Yes. Um. <laughs> And so the Ritz was on there too, huh? 
Yep. Sorry. I'm, um, I was just answering I just don't about... even know if I could, would know how to act at the Ritz. Well, we were there. I know, but we were guests. <laughs> we weren't. Oh, we were staying there. Staying yeah, there. I think we'd be out of place there. <laughs> I don't know if we could. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hey, uh, Jesse, um, or anyone who uh, would like to watch, who says so going to have to watch the replay of the cooking, you can, after it's over, you can watch it on Facebook or on YouTube. You can actually rewind it while it's mm -hmm. still going on. Yeah. So, so right go. now we're waiting for my piping to set up. It's super, super thin. I don't know if it's going to set up. It's very, very thin. So we'll give it 10 minutes while we're finishing yakking. So because uh, the question is coming up a lot, uh, for the people that still might want to donate to uh, the missionary family, the family that we talked mm -hmm. about who uh, have, has been struggling with cancer, um, our posts on the website, the front page of livingonadime.com about them has information, direct links where you can mm -hmm. go for that. But basically at this point, if you, if you didn't make it into the thing over the weekend, but you'd still like to help them, you can uh, send us an email, and the link is in that post, or you can just go to our contact form. Uh, and there's also a link to a fundraiser that his employer is doing on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if, those are two possible ways if you still would like to help them out mm -hmm. to do that. So, yay. So, are you guys ready? The exciting news! Shh. Yes? Do you want to tell them how much we raised? Yeah. What was the exact amount? Do you remember? So, well, I don't remember the exact amount, but it was really close to $5,000. Yay! Thank you, guys! Thank you. I'm sure they will very much appreciate it. Now, honestly, in the big scheme of fighting cancer, that doesn't seem like a lot. But I also know that that will get several months' worth of rent for them and help them with that so we are super thankful really anything helps everything that you guys helped donate we super appreciate it and i know they're going to appreciate it but so all together it was going to be a little, little over five thousand right yes, yes. all together it was slightly it was over like five thousand dollars fifty or something uh -huh. like that because we had a few people uh paypal me some money that they wanted to add to it and uh that kind of thing and i know they'll so. really appreciate it um and they live in mississippi so i think that might hopefully that'll go a long way if it's for housing and stuff but um, yeah for medical bills i don't know what that the outlook is for them on that but yeah. hopefully but and i know they appreciate everybody who's praying for them too we didn't actually tell them yet but we've we've mentioned it to tommy alderman who's a friend of theirs personally so so yay. So thank you so much. Yes. It was so awesome that all of you guys jumped in to participate and help them thank out you, on that. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> uh, you. Oh, sorry. A lot of people saying same here, impatiently waiting for fall. Terry wants to know, can you do a soap with fall leaves on it? Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do one or not. I may do one. I didn't really order any fall fragrances this year because last year I didn't really sell that many. Everybody just liked my regular fragrances. So. If I have a fall fragrance down there, I might go ahead and do one up, maybe. Um, Jane, I'm sharing uh, our recommended items at Amazon. That's the Amazon store that has that that uh, stick blender yeah. that we use. In. Okay, so why did we choose the name HomemadeSoapMakingSupplies.com? I know that's super long. I totally get that. But for hmm. those of you who don't know anything about marketing... Um, it helps to have, there. well, it, you know, things that have, well, never mind. It's kind of weird. It's uncertain how much difference it makes now, but it doesn't oh, probably I didn't make think some that difference. You were it does make some difference. difference. <sighs> so we just went to all that work for nothing. Well, no, they said it still makes a difference, but, um, not quite as much as it used to because of scammers that used to use that oh. sort of technique. Okay, so what we did was we specifically did that because people search for homemade soap and they search for soap making supplies. And so we combined them both hoping that we would be able to hit some of those with Google. So yes, that's why we did homemade soap making supplies because I'm selling my soap and my soap making supplies. So my yay. embeds are made out of melt and pour soap that I colored with the orange burst, which will be on there for sale. 
So Miriam, uh, we are we have suspended the house hunting for now. <gasps> okay, I admit I looked in Montana day before yesterday. Oh, I, I found a couple of good places. When she said, when she did the we're done show, I was like, okay, I'm gonna now if you say it again, I'm gonna point you to that show. <laughs> so I was kind of I don't mind us moving at some point, but I just didn't want to right now. I told I you to block been... the I told you to block the website on our internet. Guys. I know I should have. I oh. found actually two really good houses in Montana, and I was like, oh, I'm resisting. But it's only nine months until we go to Ireland, or eight months. How many months? I don't know. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Ten months. It's only ten months until we go to Ireland. So we don't really want to be moving right now. Um... um. Rhonda, the flower is Pamela's artesian bread flower. So. Yes, Tammy says, I've had cancer and that would be a big help. Yay, I yay. know. We really appreciated that everybody Well, was... and we know that when our brother-in-law died, he had, he had a, like $50,000 in unpaid medical bills. And so we know how hard that is. Um. Keep listening to $2 So, Rosemary, chat. no, uh, oh, oh, was, she's asking if it's going to be mostly a soap show now. No, we yeah. we always do cooking at the beginning, and we often fill with soap later because We everyone, have an hour show, so. We have an hour show, and it takes 15, 20 minutes to cook it, and then everybody was asking us to stay a lot longer. So, so we do the soap so it can. Yep. So, if you want to catch the cooking, you got to mm -hmm. catch it right at the beginning at 4.30. Or go back and watch it. Yeah, 4.30 p.m. Mountain. Hmm? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm going to get some on here. Um, this is not setting up like I had thought. What was the, what page was the recipe? I think it was page 240. I don't know. I closed the book. Okay. What am I looking for, Dave? Okay, so I'm just <gasps> gently spooning this on here because it did not set up for me to pipe. So that is okay. I'm just going to... Oh, people have super it. chatted $2. Yay, oh, thank you. Oh, she's one of our best commenters she's always so encouraging thank you so much <laughs> i love to read your comments uh let's see did you set a timer for the cake i set a timer for the cake we've <laughs> got eight minutes left uh so what kind of soap is this again this is peach 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 and i will share the link to the recipe it's yummy yummy peach so it's it's an olive oil soap recipe, and then yes. you just add peach as the scent. Yep. Yay. So I'm sharing the olive oil soap recipe link again. Okay, so my piping didn't set up, but that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, going to get Yay. it on here. Get some pretty little ditties on here. Kind of mound in the middle just a bit for my little peach embeds here. So Heather wants to know how many bars does that soap block make? So each one of these makes 18 bars. Here, I'll come do a zoom. And um, this soap mold right here is my new favorite from Daryl at Two Family Homestead. He's my bud. He made this for me and he's selling them on his Etsy store. Um, and if you go to our website, we have a soap supplies, um, a soap supplies, um, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. Dave, huh? can you run in and bring me my piping tips, please? They're in with the micas. Just bring the whole drawer. What? The piping tips. The they, look, they look like this, yeah. Okay, so. The green did get set up, so what I'm going to do is change my piping. Oh, I hope that's not too big. I'm going to change the piping tip here. Okay, so let's get my little peaches on here. Yes. Drew is wondering if, do you have any idea? Oh, yeah. Will the new store take PayPal's payment option like the Etsy store? It yes. does. Yes. Mm -hmm. It actually has more than one payment option. So. Yes. So we're going to have all the credit cards, PayPal. Entire tray? Yes, just bring pull the whole tray out and bring me the whole tray. Okay, and we're getting this in. My mother is a crazy soaper. 
Your mother is a crazy sewer. Just sit right there for me. Getting these in. Ooh, those are pretty. I love peach. I am so excited to make this soap. I have been wanting to make this soap for two years. Finally getting it made. Although I have two huge bottles of fragrance, so I wish I would have started earlier, but oh well. Um, I'm not sure if this is relating to this soap or to something else. Heather says, how much and can we have the link? Sure so that's... she's talking about this. I forgot to list it. It's on it. I'll put it on my Etsy store as soon as I'm done. I forgot to list it before the show. It will be ready in about three weeks, three to four weeks. I, it will ship out then, but it has to cure. Um, it smells divine. Oh man, it smells good. I am. Um, uh, whoops. Oh dear. That one's didn't have a rounded top. That's funny. <laughs> um, I'm going to save a piece of this one for me because I love peaches. Now I need to go buy me some because they're on sale now in Colorado. I need to go. I should make me some peach jam. Oh, Pamela says been missing you guys. Glad to catch you today. Love zucchini bread. Miss, missed the beginning, but we'll rewatch. Thank you, Pamela. It Yay, is almost done in the stove, so we will see what it looks like it. at the end. Okay, so let me grab my leaf tip here, right here. I think this is too wide. Let me grab. Ooh, okay. Nancy says ordered your cookbook. Can't wait to use it. Yay! Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Getting my tip on here. Yes, Tammy wishes she could smell it. It really smells it great. It smells good. And Jane oh. wants to know what did you use to make the orange round embeds? Uh, I have a silicone mold that I used to make them. So. Was Ooh. it homemade or was it free? It was purchased. And, and I may get those in my store also. I just haven't got that far yet. And Jackie says, loving the soap making e course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's check the zucchini bread real quick here. Oh, by the way, no. people, people is $2 sent a super chat. She wanted it to go towards the fundraiser family. Yay, we will add it. So, Dad, write thank that you, down. Thank you. Make note. Pardon me? We will. The $2? Ooh, yeah. It's yeah, I was thinking that's what it was for. So, yay, we will okay. add that. Okay. There's the zucchini bread. Right. <laughs> oh man, that oh, smells wow. really good. Alice says between the peach soap and the zucchini bread, your house must smell pretty smell good. Divine. It okay, does. so I'm gonna let that cool just a minute while I pipe this and then we'll cut the zucchini bread. Okay? So for those of you who are wondering, zucchini cake and zucchini bread are essentially the same thing. So it's the same thing in a different it pan. It depends on what pan you put in. That's why we keep kind of interchanging what we call it. <laughs> All right, so I'm piping little leaves. <laughs> zucchini bread is zucchini cake. It's just square. Yes. Instead of circular. Bam. Okay. So this is piping just like you do with a cake, except it's with soap. Ooh, Rosalie says a, smoke, a soap that smells like pumpkin spice would be so nice. You made that before, didn't you? Yeah, but it didn't sell very well last year. So, Maybe because everybody was saying pumpkin spice everything. Everything nice? I don't know. So I kind of, I love pumpkin stuff myself personally, but um, I don't know. I didn't want to make it if nobody's going to buy it. I So I did eventually sell it, but it just wasn't a real quick seller. Pam McLellan says this is the first time I've been able to watch the live show. We're glad you're here, Pam. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay, so I'm piping little leaves on my, uh, what do you call them, little peaches here. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. <laughs> Looking good, loving it, loving it. Is there a way to mute the doorbell? Um, well, no. Who was it? The dairy? Yeah, it was. They were like, you want free samples? And they're like, no thanks. Yeah, everybody wants a free sample because we're out of milk. You should have got a free sample. Seriously? Mm -hmm. 
I'm what was that again? All of them and do a bunch of other oh. stuff. Okay, so I have a ton of piping left, so I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I guess yeah. I'll go ahead and do the bean pit. Go ahead and put a few more little leaves on. Get it going. Are you guys liking this? Is anybody liking this? Oh, are you making them little? Oh, oh that looks so cute. Oh, is it catching it that well? I think it is. Thank you, Dave. Wow, it really looks nice. But that'll be amazing to take a picture of thank you and i can photoshop real leaves into it you guys should see the pictures dave has taken with his new camera i told him he should start selling canvas prints of them they are sure, so though. nice um well, oh my goodness they are professional i'm not sure about prints though because they're like 48 dollars for like a 10 by 10 foot yeah but i think which you is sell really them. expensive it's a lot of money for me. <laughs> I know, but there's people that would buy them. Oh, I forgot who it was that said it. Somebody just said from this angle that looks like a centipede. <laughs> it kind of oh, does. does it really? I didn't think about that. Oh yeah. It oh does. my goodness, it does. <laughs> it's it's not a centipede. It's it's little peaches. Here, I'll ha I'll hold it up. That's hilarious, a centipede. Uh. Whoa. Okay. Jennifer says, felt like Paul yesterday here in Boulder. Today? Oh, didn't it feel nice, Jennifer? She's, she's I was so up. happy yesterday. Hold on, Jack. She says, and I love fall, just wish it wasn't so close to winter. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes, Jack, now you may. What are we making today? Peach soap. What about the food? Zucchini bread. Ooh. I don't know if I should add any more. That's probably. Is it done? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I add more? There it is. Wow, that looks really nice. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, it's really pretty. Your soap looks good enough to eat. Don't forget the zucchini bread in the oven. We did pull it out, I thankfully. I did. It's pulled why out. Why don't you do cake making? Done. So, Jack, were you, with, did you go with Ellie? Is that where you were? Yeah. So, he who was asked? The library. Mardella asked, where's Jack tonight? He and Ellie took a little trip to the library. She has a little mini convertible car and... And she occasionally will invite him to go with her somewhere, and there he is. So. so you guys Neat. went to the library? Yep. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put one more because I just can't stop. Yeah. This might be hot. Be careful. Do you want me to cut it for you, Jack? Okay. Oh. Oh. Ow. Ooh. All right, man. One more little leaf. I couldn't resist. Why are you adding <laughs> so many leaves? Because oh. they're peaches. Now with piping, you just have to have a steady hand. Wait, you need to put like those Ooh, little, you know how they have like the little brown part? The you little put the stem? Little brown stem on. I should have. Well, you still could. Just make Except a new batch of soap. Just right. make a new batch of soap. I guess it's not that yeah, easy, huh? Uh, people, uh, seven, question on average, how long does it take to the the soap to thicken before you can pipe it. I'm going to attempt to pipe a soap. Not very confident, but every piece of information is going to help me. Well, so I did a high water content today. I did 38% water. Usually if you're gonna pipe, you wanna do around 30 to about 30% water, 28 to 30% water. It depends on how many are hard oils you have in your recipe too. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the rest. Okay, so here it is. So for all of you who thinks it looks like a centipede, there you go. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. Doesn't that smell good? That's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to scoot this over to the side. You ready to tilt up so they can well, feed? I testing. Let us test the mm. zucchini bread. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> for, <laughs> so for the, I take it you don't like the edge? For everyone who is waiting to see the zucchini bread, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> it smells delicious. And look, sorry. Jack's already eating it. Jack, what do you think? This is unedited, folks. No. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. You're not sure? You don't know if you like zucchini bread? Wait, we need that dramatic music from You're not sure if you like it. You have to take a few more bites to make sure. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> That's hot. Ooh. Roberta says, beautiful soaps. Thank you. I will cut it on Wednesday. Heather says they look like the flying thing off of Harry Potter. 
I'm not familiar with that, but I, I, can, mm. I can imagine. Oh, yum. <gasps> Perfect zucchini bread. Jack. Zucchini cake, whatever you want to call it. What? Jackie says my grandfather was named Jack. I was named after him, so I'm partial to that name. See, <laughs> Jack and Jackie? <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a frosted cake. You can frost it, right? You can frost it. But I'm not doing it. I'm if I stay off of dairy, my fibromyalgia isn't as bad. So I'm trying to stay away from dairy. So that's why I just sprinkled the cinnamon on top. Um mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Yum. Okay, that's gonna be dinner. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Any last questions? Um, Cheryl's asking us to pray for her brother-in-law who had a double lung transplant and is having some Ooh, big dear. trouble. And double Dagmar lung? asks us all to pray for... Uh, she has a prayer request that she says she's having a double mastectomy tomorrow. Oh, I am so sorry. Sorry. Um, so if you guys could pray, all the prayer warriors out there, for Dagmar and... Oops, I forgot who. Who else? Oh, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl's brother-in-law. Um, that'd be great. So let's see. Dana says I brought the grocery e-course and soap making e-course. It's going to take me a while to get through it all. Oh, I forgot to share the link for that again. Yay! And I'll share the link because right now all those things are on sale. Yeah. So. And my soap supply store is not open yet. I'm still trying to get the little bits. It's amazing how many tiny details you have to deal with with websites. Uh, and so I'm trying to get those done. And, oh, <laughs> and Pam said, thank you for the warm welcome. When I make the mistake of watching the news, I always follow that with one of your shows. You get me happy again. You're a beautiful, loving Christian family. Oh, thank you. thanks. Actually, we don't recommend the news, but I understand what it's like to yes. sometimes slip. <laughs> get off the news, guys. Uh, um, Dad sometimes slips and then goes on the phone or whatever and like, Oh, I forgot to mention, your your brother checked in a little while ago. He said, hi, sister, bye, sister, nice talking, you gotta run. <laughs> yeah, that's my brother. That's Uncle Dave, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. Uh, Jean says, can't wait to make my first batch of soap, enjoying your e-course. Thank Yay. you. Oh, Jamie wants uh, you to oh. change the tip and add vines, but... And add vines? But yeah, I guess you're already done with, so... Well, yeah, I could add vines, I guess. Ooh. So Sagittarius 1955 said, can you talk about that thermometer gun? Does it work on kids, LOL? It no, does not. I've not tried it, and it says I'm 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's pretty cold. But the kids have <laughs> run around with it before, pointing it at things to see if they if it actually detects that. So if you... Yeah, once we tried pointing at it at the sun. At the sun? <laughs> I, I imagine not. It was probably a few million degrees colder, right? Uh, I'm sharing the, our recommended items at Amazon again, in case because that um, that temperature gun is there, and a lot of people like it. So, um, oh, for those of you who didn't hear on the fundraiser for this weekend, uh, so for those of you who didn't even know we were doing a fundraiser this weekend, we we decided to donate all the sales from Saturday and Sunday, like the total amount of the orders, uh, to a family who is friends of Alderman Farms, uh, where the their missionary family and uh, they came back to check on one of their mothers uh, and when they were there the husband discovered he had cancer so they're they were they're in a really difficult place and so we decided to go ahead and uh, have donate like those two days of our sale to them and so we promoted that over there and a lot of people bought stuff so all that's going to them um, and so altogether, it was uh, it was like five thousand and fifty-five dollars or something like that. And if you're interested in donating to that family, uh, our fundraiser is over. But if you go to the front page at livingonadime.com, there's a post about them, like three down. And in that post, it tells you a couple of other ways you can you can donate to them if you like. So yay! Yep. So we were very glad. Everybody, it was just it was. Really, it was really exciting for us to see everybody getting involved, wanting to bless that family. So mm -hmm. that was awesome. Yep. Um, good night, Heather. Let's see. Oh, it's really sweet how loving Jack is with Tara, Christy says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, 
I'm he's, gonna enjoy it while I can. I know it's not gonna last. He's the one that still. <laughs> right, Dave. It's not gonna last. Yeah, after you turn ten, you basically just forget about it. Like, no more. <laughs> he's the one that still happily celebrates, give him all the kisses she wants, Dave. <laughs> so. Ah, uh, thanks. You still uh, celebrate, give mom all the kisses she wants, Dave, and hugs. <laughs> and also blanky love, which is awesome. Let me see. Um. Let's see. Peach soap sounds amazing. I love everything peach. Tari, you're so talented and creative. Now cut that cake. <laughs> <laughs> so she got herself. A, did you get a piece for yourself? I did. It's delicious. Why are you so awesome? <laughs> Aww, uh, that's awesome. You're just awesome right back. <laughs> uh, Linda, question related to soap. If you don't have a goat milk supplier, what do you use? Uh, powdered goat's milk. Oh. Okay. Which I will be selling on my store and I I think it's going to be cheaper than what you can get it at the grocery store because I can get a big thing of it. I'm going to so. share the zucchini cake recipe again and then I'm going to look for, see if there are any comments, I think, any other questions we need to get to here. There cake for dinner for my boys would love that, yes. Yep. Uh, I'm with Jack, I like the middle and not the edge. That's, you know, that's awesome Delicious. that he likes the middle because I like the edge. Go back to here. Yeah, somebody asked me, any ideas to make a good dish with cauliflower? Mm -hmm. Yes, our cheesy cauliflower dining on a dime cookbook, free shipping right now, half price ebook. Cheesy cauliflower in here is super, super delicious, and the recipe's on our website. And I'll Best share. cauliflower recipe ever. I'll share the link so, to the book, uh, the website, if you could just. <gasps> Jonathan! Jonathan, yay! What did he say? Jonathan just super chatted $5. Thanks, uh, is there a comment with it? Fundraiser challenge. If you've not yet contributed, I challenge you. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Jonathan. We will add that in there. All right. So now we're up to five thousand and sixty-two dollars. <laughs> um. All right. Let's... Yes. The harder your oils, the quicker this sets up for piping. Two, and less water. Amanda says, I honestly get a sweet tooth every soap session. I had to grab an ice cream bar. I think what would be great is to ship people the soap so that if you're having trouble staying on your eating plan and you uh -huh. take a bite out of it, it'll deter you. There you go. Uh, oh, boy, yep. that brings flashbacks. <laughs> the little peaches Scroll look so back cute. Down. Somebody had a question. Uh, right there. Uh, on average, how long does it take to soap the soap to thicken up before you pipe it? I am going to. Oh, I'm sorry. I already answered that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. sorry. I... Yeah. So usually it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to thicken up. The less water you use, if you use 30% water, it'll go quicker. So Dion, the shipping to the UK is not free, but it's discounted. Um, yeah. And I can't remember how much it is. Fifteen dollars. That's the discount? No, I yeah. think that's not the discount. Or maybe it's it the... better be the discount because oh, okay. it's 21 regularly. Okay. So um, you can, and if, if you're in any other country, you can click the add to cart. And when it gets to the place where it asks you where you live, it'll tell you the shipping to your area. Yeah. So the shipping everywhere out of the U.S. is discounted. Yeah. So All right, you can't guys. get free just because it's so much. Please go check out our sale. Uh, please visit us at livingonadime.com. All our ebooks are half price. Dining on a Dime is free shipping. shipping. Dave needs to keep busy for the last week of school for him. Last week of summer for him before he starts school. No. So please keep him busy with shipping books. <laughs> and um, visit us on Wednesday. I will cut this on Wednesday so show. And. Please visit us at livingonadime.com and how to make soap on a dime on YouTube. That's my how to make soap show, how to make soap on a dime on YouTube. And we will, and I'm finally showing up. Yay. I'm finally showing up on how to make soap on a dime and living on a dime isn't kicking me out. Oh, yay. Woohoo. So I'm happy about that. And I may go pipe some vines on these. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. So we'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, All right. right. Yes, stop the podcast. <laughs> Bye. Yum. Stop. Just